Hello, good morning. I'm wanting to have a chat to you about, you would have recalled probably a month ago, we were talking about sending reputations and how you really need to protect that when it comes to email marketing. Now, one way to really help with sending reputation is to make sure that your email marketing lists are full of active and engaged members and that you're continuously cleaning them out um, and getting rid of the people who aren't engaging with your emails because that obviously affects your sending reputation. Now, in most CRMs and email marketing, it's really easy easy to kind of do this through various different automations that they have. But in MailChimp, it's a little bit more difficult. So what I want to do is I actually want to go through and show you how to identify who your inactive subscribers are in MailChimp um, and then have a look at what you can do to sort of get rid of them and filter down from there. So you'll see I'm logged into my MailChimp account at the moment. Now if we click on audience, that's going to show us our uh, list of contacts. So then we click on view contacts and you'll see here I've got three. Now I don't um, use MailChimp personally but I do have it for training and education purposes. So you can see in here three audiences, um, all of them are me. Now when it comes to looking at what a subscriber, how they engage with your list. In MailChimp, they use this star rating. Now, they've got between one and five stars, and we'll just quickly touch on what, what each of them mean. So one star is that they've either unsubscribed and resubscribed, or they've soft bounced in the past. Two stars means they've got no engagement, so they're like most likely a new contact, or they've previously engaged, but then they've gone dormant after a period of time. Three, low engagements. They open and click your campaigns, but they're either not consistently engaged or they haven't been on your list long enough to earn a higher rating. Four is moderate engagement. So the recipient often opens or clicks your campaigns when you send them. And five is high engagement. So they open or click your campaigns very consistently. Now, obviously we want people on our list who are um, ideally a five and a four, worst case scenario three, but we really don't want to see anyone on our list that have got either one or two stars. So the way we go about figuring that out in MailChimp, now especially you know if you've got thousands and thousands of contacts, um, we need to kind of break it down to see who our active subscribers are and who the inactive ones are. And then from there, it's up to you what you do with them. As mentioned before, I take a very hard stance around this stuff. And if you haven't engaged with me in the last six months, I instantly um, actually unsubscribe you from my list. However, you may wish to do that. You may wish to try and go through a re-engagement campaign um, and get them to start engaging with you. Again, it's completely up to you, but ideally you want to try and either get rid of them so their contact rating and their activity is not affecting your sending reputation, or you need to re-engage them to the point where you can bring that star rating up even higher. So the way we go about identifying it is we need to create what's called a segment. Now a segment pretty much just means a group of contacts that meets specific conditions that you've set. So for to be able to find out who your inactive subscribers are, we just need to click on new segment. And then we need to make sure down here it says contacts match all of the following conditions. The first one, email marketing status is, we just want this to be subscribed. We don't care about people who have already unsubscribed and who aren't opted in or out of email marketing. We just want to know the people who are subscribed. We then need to add a second condition in. Now this one needs to be the contact rating. And as previously mentioned, one star, they're either unsubscribed and resubscribed. Two stars is no engagement, okay? So we want to have a look at the people who have got two stars. Then we need to also add in a condition because the other risk with two stars is that it can be someone who is a new contact, which basically means there's no history on that person yet. So you don't want to go deleting those people because they may well end up as a four or five star. So we need to exclude them. So the way we do that is we add in another condition and we put date added. Now it's completely up to you how you want to filter this. For me personally, I would only want to be looking at anyone that's sort of older than six months. You know, that really gives them time to um, have a good go um, on my email marketing list. Again, you might say if anyone's not sort of really been engaged in, in the last three months, you want to do that. If you are someone who sends email campaigns every week, you could make this only anyone who's older than a month. You know, you could really bring it down. So it depends on what your current emailing schedule is and how much time you've given these people to be able to interact with your content. So once you've picked a date, 
um, we can then click preview segment and what this is going to do is filter out and only show you the people that meet those conditions. So because there's only three people on my list, one person meets this. So they've been subscribed since the 18th of April 2019 um, and they've still only got a two star rating. So for me, I would then want to go through and actually tick that person and then unsubscribe them. You as mentioned before you may want to try and go down through some sort of re-engagement path it's completely up to you that's just how i would do it now to save you some time next time you can also save the segment so we can click save and we could um, change this one you know inactive subscribers whatever you want to do oh i've already got one that's got that so just click save and then next time when you want to do it, if we click on the cross and get out of that, we can simply then click view segment and you'll be able to find your inactive one. The only thing you'll need to do is if you're doing this say once every six months, you will need to click um, edit segment and go in and just change that date because obviously you don't want that to eventually that'll roll out to five, six years ago. You kind of want to keep it current and keep it active within that. So that's how you find your inactive subscribers on MailChimp. If you want to have a chat about it or you want to bounce around some ideas on ways that you could particularly do it for your business, feel free to get in touch. Otherwise, I will speak to you soon.